me say, guys, we'll do a little uh, a video on the dimensions of the new, to me, Shirley Cooper. Smoker, it's a 42 by 24 cabinet model. Wife was nice enough to get it for my birthday. We got it for my birthday. It'll probably be my birthday for the next couple of years, as well as Christmas and whatever holidays we can throw in there. But it's a big machine. A silly machine, but a big uh, For comparison's sake, you can kind of see a 36-inch uh, Traeger pellet stove next to it. A few numbers I'll give to you in a second here. Okay. So overall length of this unit, that's from handle to handle. We're looking at 76 inches. Without the handles, it's 63 inches. The track width of it, from outside of wheel to outside of wheel, is uh, 42 inches. And with the table down, stainless table there, uh, it's at 47 inches. Up to the top of the stack from the ground, we're looking at 69 inches. With 53 and a half inches to the top of that cook chamber, the square portion. Uh, the stack itself is six inch diameter by about 16 inches tall. The firebox is a cube at 20 and a half inches. 20 and a half by 20 and a half by 20 and a half. Uh, the fire basket itself is 16 by 17 inches which is inside and which holds, holds the logs and whatnot and you can kind of slide it out and slide it back in there. Those rear wheels are 16 inches in diameter and the fronts are 9.5 inches. So the, the 42 that they're getting with this is from this right rear portion, the square portion of the cook chamber to the, the end of the tube there, at the end of the barrel. So it's a 24 by 42 unit. Super heavy. I don't, I don't have scales. I know some people that may have a, a truck scale or two that I could borrow to uh, actually get an actual weight on it. The uh, cooking grates, which are inside, I'll show you those in a second, are 32 and a quarter by 21. The stainless table there is 41 and a quarter inches long and 15 inches wide. Underneath, we got 16 inches by 36 for storage. We'll go to the uh, interior compartment now. Novice cameraman, you have to bear with me. Plenty of surface area there. You could easily put, if I had to guess, four full pork butts up here anyway, 10 pounders or better. Same at the bottom, it's the same exact sized um, shelf. For comparison, I have a full sheet pan, a half sheet pan, and a quarter sheet pan. Uh, the uh, full sheet pan. It's 18 by 26 inches long. Uh, you got 18 by 13 for the half sheet, and you got 9.5 by 13 for the quarter sheet. And there's still probably 6 inches, 5, 6 inches of space if you want to slap something else in there. But, uh, put four of these guys per shelf. One of the big guys, or two of the uh, half sheets heavy super heavy duty it's uh you definitely know you're dealing with some quality here quarter inch steel for the for the box here three eighths inch steel for the actual tube a couple things I'm experiencing that I'm, I'm going to change. And 
It's not so much here on this top one. But they have these caps, kind of almost like you see on the kid's big wheel that used to hold the tires on. I'm not super thrilled with those. They're a little bit sharp. I um, kind of ding myself on the one for the damper on the, the firebox door. It's, it's whoever had it before me or for whatever reason the cap is, uh, is broken. That one down there. And it, it'll cut you if you're not careful. So I'm going to do a little something with those. Cutting myself, even though you should be wearing uh, gloves when you're dealing with a hot fire box and whatnot. But again, everything's super heavy. This has got to be three eighths to a half inch thick without my tape out. I'm looking at close to three eighths there. Still got ash from my last burn. The uh, fire box comes out, slides out. You can load your wood in the beginning anyway. I don't know if I do it once it's burned. This thing weighs probably 35, 40 pounds, if I had to guess. Nice unit. Uh, very happy with it. This will be a lifetime smoker with any luck. So for comparison's sake, as I kind of showed in the beginning of the video, that's a 36 inch, excuse me, um, Traeger pellet stove. And that's the 24 by 42 Shirley. Little difference. I can pick that Traeger up at one end, no problem. Ain't happening with this thing. It's it is it's got to be. As uh, noted by the previous owner, 650 pounds. I'm assuming he got that from uh, having it shipped up here from Alabama. That's where it is. I did a short cook the other day for Christmas Eve. Did a pork roast, bone in, came out good. I kind of butchered it when I was cutting it apart, but uh, it is what it is. So, in any case, have a good day. That's my quick little overview of the, of the cooker. I'm sure as the weather warms up or even prior to it warming up I'll be doing some cooks on it. Send some other videos out on it. Now that I'm not doing the uh, timber frame pavilion anymore now that she's complete. So all right have a good day. Shirley 24 by 42.